I was naive to the situation. Didn't know the severity of a spinal cord injury. Um, didn't know how much it would affect me. I thought it was like a scrape. Oh, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna be all right. Didn't think too much of it. And then I um, realized that, oh damn, this is, you know, real, this is real. My name is Stephen Brian Smith, but most people call me B. My middle name is Brian. Just a nickname I was given when I was growing up as a, you know, B, just a abbreviation. I grew up pretty much poor, didn't have a lot of things. My mom tried her best to give me the best life she could. But at that time, I didn't think it was good enough because I hung around so many different other people that had other things going on, expensive sneakers, expensive clothing. And for me, I, I wanted more. I was very smart, very intelligent, but I got hooked into the streets. The drug dealing, the gun violence, carrying guns, hanging around different people, getting involved with a lot of stupid crap. I was sitting in a room with all of my uh, good friends at that time, playing a PlayStation, and uh, it was my gun. My best friend, Dante, took the clip out, but the difference was I always kept a bullet in the chamber. And uh, he was just playing with it and pulled the trigger, and it hit me in the side of the neck. And I uh, went through and through. It's kind of like um, one of those things where you're laying down on the floor, paralyzed, but you, you think it's a dream. And you're like, oh, come on, wake up, wake up. But then you realize it's not a dream. I dealt with depression. I didn't want to do no OT. No PT, I was just pissed at the world. And I, I would sit in my room every day, didn't want to come out. A lady named Miss Terry Costa, she came to my door one day and was like, you're coming out the room today. And I was like, nah, I don't feel like it. And she was like, no, you're coming out the room immediately. And I was like, no, and she, stood by my door and wouldn't leave me the hell alone. I started to snap, curse her out in every way. She didn't budge. And finally, I was like, you know what? Let me humor this lady. And I went out and I sat outside in the Rose Garden and I had an epiphany. And it was either you're gonna live or die. You won't let people help you. Do you want to be dirty? Do you want to smell bad? I know things are different, but do you want to be sort of your normal self? And uh, I had an epiphany and I just thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to try. Now, the biggest thing I get from kids when I'm speaking is what happened to your friend. I'm still friends with him. I forgave him. Um, I love him. He's a, he's a brother to me. And uh, things happen when you're younger. I forgave him because I needed closure and he needed closure. I got to wake up every day being paralyzed, every day. My life is as tough as they come. And I don't want to hear people coming around me complaining about some of the small stuff. 
that they got going on, especially with the stuff I got going on, it's a lot of people around me who, who can say they understand what you're, what you're going through, but they don't really understand what you're going through at all. So that's what the group did for me was it helped me open up to others and people that have been through things similar to me. I have 14 nieces, seven nephews. I want them to be great. I don't want them to grow up in the life that I had. I want them to be okay. The biggest question is, what do you want your legacy to be? How do you want to be looked at? Uncle Brian never gave up. He continued to fight, fight that good fight. Because not every day I want to wake up and I want to get up out of bed. And I feel okay to be in the store. I want to, oh man, oh God, this day can be tough. But I think about people that have it worse than me. I'm fine. Don't, I tell people, don't let the wheelchair and the ventilator fool you. I'm fine. Get up every day. Do what you need to do. Make something happen. It could be something small that you don't want. Something small, but as long as you got it done. I want my legacy to be that I was a fighter.